So we're on episode two of this My Career series, going from a 60 overall all the way up to a 99 overall player, completely no money spent. I'm on this third challenge, which is to win and outscore Almonza by 15 points in the FIBA Under-19 World Cup Finals. If I do so, I'll get 1,500 VC, which is definitely going to help me out. If you haven't already, make sure you go check out the first video in this series where we completed those first two challenges and got my build up. I'll probably hold off doing any upgrades for now, just trying to collect as much VC as possible. All right, so let's get this started. I don't think I'll be able to get a triple double like I was trying to last game just because I'm going to be trying to shoot as much as possible just so I can outperform our Monza in terms of the points. They're giving me space to pull up for the three pointer slightly early. Unfortunately, just missing that one. I need those to drop for me if I want to outscore our Monza because I'm guessing he'll be shooting quite a lot in this game after what he was saying in the press conference earlier. Our Monza are going for the three pointer and that's his first bucket of the game. So he can knock it down his threes. I can't knock down mine. So it's going to be a tough one in this game. It's a good screen on the right hand side. I'll pull up for the shot getting the green release and that's our first three points on the board so matching our monza and of course we got to get the win first and foremost before thinking about trying to get ourselves more points. Our Monza again going for three, but luckily this time he's going to miss the shot. I was trying to get the rebound there just to get my stats up a little bit more. So maybe a double-double is what we can aim for. I'll pull up for another three-pointer slightly off balance as that one misses. Our Monza again missing the three-pointer. If he can keep doing that all video long, this would be absolutely great. They found me under the rim. I got up for the layup and has an easy bucket to put us up to five points. I get called on the reaching foul there. I was trying so hard to get the ball back but I get subbed off as well hopefully I don't lose too much of this game sitting on the bench luckily we get subbed in five minutes left on that second quarter we got to check what's happening still only on five points our Monza still only on three points which is good to see my team is down by three so maybe I've got to try and go for a three pointer next to at least tie up this game I'll go for that three pointer there we're giving me the space and that's going to be another bucket now up to eight points. Calderon has gone for the two pointer. Hopefully I played good enough defense and it looks like it because he misses that shot. So can we get a bucket off straight away? Making advantage of them missing the shot. I'll pull up for three. Why not? Slightly early. Unfortunately, just missing the shot. And Monza's pulled up for three. He saw me miss that one. Luckily, he misses that one as well as they get the rebound though to put them up by two points. It's a good screen. I've got so much space. Green release as well on that three pointer. So we're now up to 11 and we finally got the lead back over Spain. They've gone for another three pointer. At least they missed that one. Maybe I should stop trying to go for the rebounds because I don't think I'm going to be getting any. But they've managed to go in and get the bucket off. So we've got one assist at least in this game. Oh, that's a good screen to give me space slightly early on the release. And unfortunately, again, missing the three. They're going to pull up for another three pointer and this time making the shot. At least it wasn't Almonza, but they have tied up the game, which is not good for us as the USA. That's a good screen on the right hand side. I'll pull up for the two pointer again just missing the shot what is going on with these missed shots i feel like they should be dropping maybe i need to get some more green releases in i'll pull up for three green release there we go as we knock down another bucket putting us up to an a minus teammate grade with 14 points on the board they've gone for the three pointer hopefully that's good enough on defense to stop them as it just about misses for them thought about doing the catch and shoot but we'll set the screen on the left hand side instead giving me space to go for an easy three and knocking it down so now up to 17 points our mons are only on three so we've opened up a big gap between us two. Almonza is trying to come back and he makes another three pointer. So now Spain are only down by three. It's a good screen on the right hand side, giving me space, but unfortunately missing that one. At least our teammates able to jump up and get himself the put back shot. So we're not dropping too much in terms of points. We're still beating Spain by seven points at the moment. So hopefully we can hold on to this lead. They played it all the way up the court to me. Can I get the shots of just about do? Unfortunately, just missing that one. I thought on the fast break, I had to go for it but they played some pretty good defense to stop me. Fernandez has gone for the shot. He misses that one. And there we go. We get our first rebound in this game. The clock is running down. I'll go for the three pointer at the buzzer. Unfortunately, just missing that one. I think it's a bit too off balance to be able to knock it down, but we played well during that first half and see our Monza on six points. We're on 17. So there's an 11 point gap between us. I need to get that up to 15 if I want the three stars. So I just need to keep playing as well as I have done so far. And of course, we're up by seven, which helps a ton. And Monza's got fouled on his shot, so he's going to get two free throws. I'm hoping he misses at least one as he knocks down the first one. And the second one, hopefully, is going to be a missed shot. 
although it just about goes in over there. So 34 to 29, and Monza's got himself another two points, so I need to get some more points back. It's a good screen giving me space, although our opponent kind of closed out, but at least I knocked the bucket down to put me up to 20 points in the game. And Monza's gone for the two points. It was a nice move as he makes yet another basket. This man does not want to lose to me, but I get the screen on the left-hand side. It's a deep three-pointer, terrible release on my end, and that is no good at all. That's a good screen. I get the shot off just about and that's another two points on the board there we go we get the space on the, the three pointer and just about knocking it down 25 points in the game and we're now 15 ahead of Almonza. so i need to keep this up and hope that Almonza doesn't knock down too many more buckets. Almonza's pulled up straight away for the three. At least he misses that shot. I can't be having him knock down too many of those. Almonza again going for the three, and this time he knocks it down. So I need to come back with a three of my own, or at least get some more buckets in, because he's got rid of that 15-point gap between us. If he's going to put up a three, I've got to put up a three myself. I go for it, and it just about falls. Almonza again for the three-pointer. At least he's missing it that time, as USA is able to get the rebound. I'll go for the catch and shoot three. It's really deep. And unfortunately, just missing out. And that was terrible on my end. I thought I would go for it, but it didn't work out. And Monza in the post. He's got the shots off and he just about knocks it down at the end of the third quarter. So team wise, we are doing well up to 45 points. So I think they're 38. But me against Al Monza, he's on 15. I'm on 28. So there's only a 13 point gap between us two. And I need to get some more buckets off. But they've started me on the bench for this quarter. At least it's not too long into the quarter that I actually get back onto the court. We got four minutes, 41 left to go in this final quarter. Is this going to be the bucket to put me back up? No, unfortunately not. I thought that was going to go in. It was a decent shot selection, but unfortunately just missing out. And Spain are going to go for the three as they knock it down. They're only two points behind us, which is not great at all. Almonza's driving in. Please don't make this basket. He just luckily misses that one. Almonza straight away going for the shot as he knocks it down. This gap is closing so much. Almonza again for three. Luckily, he's missing that one. I need him to keep missing his three pointers, but I actually need to score some baskets because there's, I think, a 10 point gap between us at the moment. It's a decent screen, giving me space slightly early on the release. And there we go. We knock down a three pointer as that puts us over 30 points in this World Cup final. Spain have managed to tie up their game. It's now 48 apiece. Can I try and get another bucket off? It's a decent screen, green release, and that's another three pointer. So now we have got our points over our Monzo back 30. 24 to 18 and now we just need to hold on to the win and hope he doesn't score too many more so if spain can give it to someone else and at least have other people scoring instead of almonza that would be great although it is only a three point gap between us and spain they're gonna go for the two missing that shot back out to almonza please don't make this three pointer he doesn't which is great as we're able to get the rebound so now we've got to go for the win just about missing out on getting that pass but at least it's our ball off of the inbound there isn't that much time left i put up a terrible two but it just about goes in went out to 36 points and we've opened up the gap between us and spain to now being five points and monza for two and he just missing that one we get another rebound in the game which is going to give us some more vc which is always good it's a good screen on the left hand side although it doesn't really give me too much space and that was not a great shot to take hopefully it doesn't come back to bite me later on in this game they've gone for the two points at that time and they're gonna knock it down so they're now only down by three points with just under a minute left i'll go for the two pointer slightly early i get shoved to the ground but that is not gonna fall we need to play some good defense now in this final few seconds they set the screen on me off to Almonza now he goes for the two-pointer and he misses the shot as we're able to get the ball back and now I think Spain are just going to keep intentionally fouling and they're going to foul a second time in a row I think they've got to keep doing this to get me into the bonus but then it means I have to knock down my free throws which I am no good at doing there we go we get a green release on the first three-pointer I was just staring at the shot meter trying to get the release can I knock down the second one though again on the green release there we go we've mastered the free throws as they keep on dropping. So a five point lead for Team USA against Spain. I just need to keep doing more of those free throws. I don't know what was going on at the start, but I was getting very early, very late. Maybe I just need to keep staring at that shot meter trying to time it right. Almonza though, he's gone for a corner three as he misses the shot and we're able to get the rebound and they're going to send me back to the line. Another green release on that free throw. This is amazing. Come on, can I go four for four on these green releases? 
Again, I do excellent release and now up to 40 points in this FIBA World Cup final. And Monza again trying the three. This time it falls for him. But I think I've got enough points to be ahead of him by 15. I'm on 40. He's down on 21. So there's a 19 point gap between us two. And I'm back at the line shooting free throws. And now we're back to very late. Hopefully I can pull it back to get an exit or at least back on this one over here. It's again very late, which is not going to fall for me. So I think it's either going to be very late or very early or excellent. There's no in between on those free throws. They just missed that one. And we are FIBA under 19 World Cup champions. And they win the under 19 championship with a perfect 7 0 record. Brent, what an incredible tournament for him. What more can you say about the play and leadership, too, of MP? He was phenomenal all tournament long, and he backed it up with his guarantee that the USA would win it all. Big words from a young man. Who's overrated now, man? Still you. Uh, come on, you did your thing, though. Mm -hmm. Hey, mm -hmm. enjoy my anthem, man. <laughs> So there we go. All three stars, a B minus on that one. 10 three pointers made and 40 points for the game. Absolutely ridiculous stuff getting us the trophy. So we now only have this final challenge left to go in the heart of the dynasty. It's Jalen Brunson's open run. To get three stars, we will be getting 2000 VC. We got a win by seven and successfully complete the trash talk with Austin Reeves. So I'm going to go ahead and get through the cutscenes to see what this trash talk is. Yo, Austin. What's up, man? I'm MP. Okay. Nice to meet you, man. Okay. I've been a fan of yours for a minute now. You've been doing your thing. How you went undrafted to now starting with LeBron? That's super inspirational, man. I thought I was a wannabe role player at best. Uh, look, I was 16 when I posted that. I got caught up in a moment, man. Well, now you're in this moment. Are you going back all that talk up? So we got two options. Do we either go for win and outscore Austin Reeves by five point or hold him to under six points? And I think I'm going to go for this bottom one over here, holding him to under six points. I don't really trust my shooting a huge amount. So I think holding him to under six points is a bit more likely. You really think you're him, don't you? I know you? I'm him. Yo, I need to talk to you for a second. Hey, we'll be right back. So not only have we got to hold Austin to being under six points, we've also got to win by 10 in total if we want three stars. I think I'm going to try and get as many assists as possible. Bronson's gone in for the shot and we get a screen assist. I don't really think he used us too much, but I'm not going to complain as it adds to our teammate grade. So hopefully Austin doesn't turn into a demigod shooter and just keep knocking down buckets. He's going to get the screen though for Caruso. I'm trying to stick to him like glue. They'll set the screen on their left hand side and try and play it back out to him off the pick and roll, but at least they missed. So we're going to play it back out to Bronson so hopefully he can reset things a little bit. I'll get the screen from Gobert. He's rolled off nicely under the paint, gets the shot off and giving us an assist. Got Caruso driving in and he just about knocks down the layup. We got the play going over nicely. I get the shot off. Unfortunately, just missing that one. I thought I was wide open on the two, but unfortunately it doesn't drop for me. Austin Rees, he's found the space to go for the shot. At least he's missing that one, which keeps him under six for us. He's given me though a little bit more space. I'll come through for the one-handed slam. And that's our first dunk ever in this my career mode. Of course, the build I had allowed me to get a good amount on my dunk. So it's nice to see that I can actually dunk with that one-handed slam. I don't think that would have made Austin Reeves too happy. And he'll definitely be coming for me now to try and outdo me. But at least my teammates get the rebound. We'll dish it all the way over to the left-hand side here to green to see what he can do. We'll set the screen for him on the right-hand side. He kind of uses it to drive in a little bit. Doesn't really help, but he gets the shot off. Unfortunately, just missing that one. They dished it back out for me. I'll go for the catch and shoot. And we're getting a another three points. Maybe I should have gone for the challenge, which meant that I had to outscore Austin by five points. We're up by seven, which is great to see. Austin, though, he's gone for the three pointer. He must have heard me as he knocks that one down. So, so I could probably let him get one more three pointer, although then it's going to be very risky the rest of this game. We'll get the screen for us set by Rudy Gobert on the left hand side. He rolls off nicely under the basket as he gets the two and his slam off. So we got our second assist in the game. We're up by seven, but we do need to win by 10 points if we want three stars. Brunson's driving in he's found some space he gets the shot off and he knocks it down to put our team up to 13 points 
to their four. They found a little bit of space, but at least they missed their shot. So Bears rolled off nicely and wide open to get another dunk off to give us our third assist. We're up by 11 points. We just need to hold on to this lead with just under a minute left to go. Caruso's trying to find space. He's played it over to Austin Reeves. Austin Reeves is going to play a really nice pass to McGee, who knocks down the dunk. We'll try that pick and roll again, this time with Bam Adebayo. He rolls off nicely. I'll play it to him. It just about goes to him. I don't think he's got enough space to get the shot off. He does, though, but unfortunately just missing it. So 15 seconds. We need a stop and a basket if we want to win by 10. There's the stop from Bam Adebayo. I'll play it over to Gobert. He's played it back over to us. I find Green under the basket. He gets the shots off and puts it up to give us an 11 point lead in the game. Caruso can't make this half court shot and he doesn't. So we win the game. First try over there. Looks like I might be him after all, huh? I know you're not talking like that after an open run. Uh, I don't know. It looked like you was taking it serious. You got a lot to learn, Rook. I know a little bit. You're going to learn a lot more when these games start counting. Hey, not exactly building bridges. Ah, uh, come on, man. When you get scared of a little friendly trash talk, man. I'm just saying, now the dude's going to be gunning for you. And you know I want all that smoke. Look, man, you come a long way from that kindergarten teacher I knew in the ninth grade. And I'm still him. I just know when to dial it up a little bit. You know what I mean? All right. Find your balance. I like that. Yo, if we're going to create that dynasty that yeah. we've been dreaming of, yeah. it's going to take everything. The good, the bad, and the ugly, bro. Carried in the stick. Yes, sir. The league ain't ready for you, man. Not by a long shot. <laughs> Plain view. All right, bro. That wasn't actually that bad at all. We get 215 VC from our teammate grade, five points, four assists in that one, 100% from three, but most importantly, three stars and an extra 2000 VC. And that's completed all of the heart of the dynasty challenges over there. We got a decent amount of VC from all of them in total. That's going to be 5,750. Again, I will be doing some upgrades later on in this series. So make sure you stay subscribed with notifications turned on so you don't miss the next episode. If you want to go check out some 2K simulations though that I have been doing as well, go check out the playlist in the bottom left hand corner and I'll see you guys in those ones. Peace.